And welcome everyone. This is our second new member Q&A um, via, uh, via Zoom uh, for the month of October, 2024. Uh, my name is Betsy Coe, and I have joining with me as co-host Murray Maloney. And uh, down beneath me at the bottom of the screen is Hillary Gadsby. Um, so these uh, sessions have been going about two years. Um, and we we started them just as a way to um, to give um, new members or really any members who uh, have a little struggle navigating WikiTree um, a chance to ask their questions in real time, get some help um, with screen sharing, and um, you know some just sort of cut through um, all the words and and show things. You know everybody has a different learning style, so um, we we get together the second Thursday and the fourth Sunday of every month for these sessions. Um, so I've been on Wikitree for almost five years. Um, my, um, my own family heritage is Taiwanese and then English, Canadian, Scottish, a little Welsh. Um, so, so I'm involved in projects related to those areas. Um, and, uh, and I also help out with a lot of the events that we do for Wikitree. Um, Murray, I'll turn it over to you. Hi, my name is Murray Maloney. I'm a retired uh, technical writer and editor. Um, I work on uh, documentation for some of the apps on Wikitree and, of course, on my own tree. Um, and, uh, and I'll turn it over to Hillary. I'm Hillary. I am one of the project coordinators for England and Wales projects. I am um, uh, the one of the project coordinators for the Orphan Trail on England, and I'm also one of the greeters. So I may have um, greeted you when you came in. I've been a greeter for quite a long time. Um, <coughs> and I, I also have uh, one name study and some uh, a couple of one-place studies that I help coordinate as well. So um, I'm quite busy on both Wikitree and off and, and, and doing other genealogy stuff as well. So. All right. Well, we are going to do something a little different today. Um, um, of course, questions may may pop up along the way, and and we hope that they do. Uh, but what we thought we'd do is um, play a game that's a weekly thing on Wikitree called Connection Checkers. So, as some of you may know, every week there is a um, a group of profiles um, that have a theme in common um, that. Um, we we highlight about twelve profiles from that group. Uh, this this um this week it's Palatine descendants, uh, descendants of the Palatine migration. Uh, last week it was Harry Potter. Uh, it can it can really run run the the gamut of uh, geographical and cultural and historical um, themes, and it's it's fun. And at the bottom of your profile page, if you are connected to the big tree, you're going to see the list of those twelve profiles and your connection to them. So Murray is uh, is sharing his screen now. And so these are these are this week's group and Murray's connection to them. Um, Doris's. Oh, the these are Doris's, yes. And a big thank you to Doris uh, for for saying that uh, she would she would let us um, use one of her examples because she's got a pretty close one to Buzz Aldrin. Um, so now if you click on the 15 degrees and you wait while my slow computer fetches it. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Oh, it's thinking about it. There we go. Woo. Great. Um, so now you see the pathway between, um, between Doris and Buzz. Um, and it's, uh, the if you um some a lot of people the first question they ask is why are some green and why are some yellow and the change in color um represents a marriage so you can see in the second line we've got a marriage between well we just lost it but yeah. anyway where's where the color change there's a marriage um okay um between paulinus alfred and melissa norton so um, what we're going to do, the, 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 um, 
the goal with connection checkers is to look at each pair of um, each link in the chain and to see if there are valid sources proving that connection. Are they really father and son? Were they, do we, have, you know, do we have a birth certificate or, you know, some vital record that proves that? Do, um, were they really married? And, you know, um, thing, things like that. Um, and at the end of the day, that's going to strengthen your tree. And mm -hmm. additionally, it just strengthens the tree of the, the health of the overall tree. And it's fun. So, um, Anyway, um, starting at Doris, we're we're going to we're going to skip to and start at her grandfather, and then start looking at the connection between her grandfather and his mother Rose. So, Murray, I'm going to let you take it over. If you want to, okay. yeah. Here we are. So this would be Doris's grandfather, mm -hmm. Russell Clarence Isaacs, and. We have a biography. It has, um, <clears throat> there are references there, one, two, three, and four, and five, okay? Let's look at what we've got. We have uh, three censuses, a marriage record, and a death record. So we can state fairly decisively that this person existed. Um, they're recorded four different five different times in life uh, we don't have a birth certificate but we do have enough evidence that this person did exist and was married um and died um and what that, about that hmm. yeah yeah i was just going to say um the the uh the death certificate might have been it's the link to the next link is to his mother correct yes that's right yeah so the and death the is named in the death record yeah okay there we go. Okay, so we're confident about that, I think. Yep. So that's connection number one checked off. Okay. And you have to go back again to get the other connection, right? right. Well, I we I'm I remembered it, so I just okay. I just went ahead to Rose. So so there here's his mo um his mother. No, I don't see any footnotes. And mm -hmm. so there's a mention here of a death certificate and an obituary, but there are no links. Oh. So there's a little bit of uncertainty about this one. The obituary is actually on the profile. There's an a, a image of it. <clears throat> if you scroll down slightly. Oh, right. Okay. There's the obituary. Okay. What the is the, what is the ID? Her sellers what? Four seven seven eight. Okay. So an obituary would be an excellent um secondary uh source, um yes. but it would be it would be super if we could find a primary source, and with a death in nineteen thirty six, I'm betting we can find one. And, and and also there should be a couple of uh, sentences to, to... Mm -hmm. absolutely. So are you searching? Yeah, I have a lot of profile work to do. <laughs> okay. Oh, don't don't we all? <laughs> don't so worry. Don't worry. At this, <laughs> at, actually, at this point, Murray, maybe you should show off sorcerer since you, I'm. I mean, I'm doing oh, it, but I'm. I'm I, I have. I'll have to change my. Um, what I'm displaying. Just give me a second. Okay. Um, I love it. With the and while we're just while we're there. pausing for a second, Doris, I have to say I really find that the photo Where's for the, Rose, there. it's very artistic. I have never seen that before like that. Beautiful. That's half of one. <laughs> <laughs> but, but still it's it just sort of this eye eye catching ah right. fantastic Yay, I, I, I see uh i see an 1880 census i don't wait a minute oh, I'm to... the accessory. 
Okay, let's just get that out of my way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I can't get at my darn menu. There we go. Okay, search. So I'm going to search family search. Yeah. And and just uh, by way of introduction, in case there's anybody watching who doesn't know what Sorcer is, um, it's a free browser extension that you can add to whatever you use, be it Chrome or Safari, et cetera. I think it works with Opera too. Uh, and it allows, it has, as you can see, when Murray did the pull down menu, it allows you to do a quick search of uh, the major, major genealogy repositories. And as well as once you find a source to quickly spit out a beautifully formatted citation that you can then paste directly into your Wikitree profile. We love Sorcerer. Yeah. Oh, there she is. You see it? Yep. yep. Okay. She has a tree. So now typically, typically what I do when I get a situation like this is I go and click on family trees here just to see how many family trees there are. Because very often, um, if there's multiple family trees available, you can check to see how many sources are available on each one. Mm -hmm. So here we have, there are 81 trees that, that contain rows. And if I click on that, it shows me that the first one has 15, the next one has 21 wow. records. Oh, I like that one better. Mm -hmm. And then 10 records and 12 records. So let's go for the 21. So right. there are censuses. Good. Lots of them. Uh, there's a birth certificate, a death certificate. Marriage. Lots of stuff here. So just to con um, just to, to bring it back in focus, what we're trying to prove is that Rose was the daughter of Sarah Benefield. Am I saying it right, Doris? Yes. Yes. Right. So that's the next link. So yeah. oh, we've got a collection of sources that are on this on this profile. And so oh, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to grab all the citations. I love this part. <laughs> and so now Sorcerer is going going is looking at this profile. It's looking at all the sources, and it's collecting them all up. <laughs> going through a process of analyzing all of these and determining what information it needs. Mm -hmm. may I, excuse me, may I ask a question about the source? Of course, Jerry. Um, I'm just wondering if it would know that there's a mistake in one of them, like would it know that there's a diff different age child or something? No, no it would, um, it, all it does is take the, whatever it, it takes the citation um, okay. it takes from the records. It doesn't, it doesn't identify any problems with them um, and it will only do them depending on how you've got your sorcerer set up because so you'd have to verify each source before taking them all am i yeah. right yeah okay and you might Thank not you. want a lot you might not want a lot of them because they might refer to the baptism of one of the children and you might not want to put that on the parents um profile so it it, it you do have to set sorcerer up to what you want Good point. Thank you. Rose, do I have your permission to put this information into the profile? Yes. <laughs> and can you see the profile? Yes. Okay. I've done just done something similar with um the family search family tree. I've taken a load of sources for one of the people in my line up to this same up to Buzz Aldrin. Uh, because it, it didn't only had the profile only had one source on it. So, but I have because I don't manage that profile. I've put it all in a research in the research notes. I've put all the um, citations in the research notes, and then um, I can either go back and, and do what I want with it, or I can or the person that manages that profile can do what they want with it. So it's it, it, because they've put it under a research notes heading at least. Um, they can see what there's what's there and they can do what they want with it oh i go straight to bio what yeah. so now i've added all of these sources to this profile and i put them in the research notes as mm -hmm. as hillary suggested so that i can go through them 
mm-hmm. and see you know which which one should be here and which one shouldn't so we've got the 1880 census we've got a marriage to uh william isaacs we've got was in a record so this is uh newspaper report probably of the marriage is it oh that's a newspaper was it's because it's a couple of days after the marriage i think in so I've I've well, William was a bigamist, so there's a lot of newspaper stuff about it. <laughs> um, I've been looking at at um Rose's marriage record to William Isaacs, and unfortunately, I can't seem to find an image. There are only in this, if you could go to a family history library, you could you could look at the image, but um, and unfortunately, it lists her father, but not her mother. And then, but I looked at the 1880 census because that's the first census where family relationships are explicitly um, identified. And uh, it says her father is, is she's two years old, father, Robert Sellers, mother, Jane Sellers. Do you know why it would be Jane and not Sarah? I think it's, um, I think it's Sarah Jane. Oh, that Um, would make sense. uh Okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. that sounds like it. Right. Yes, I'm looking at her profile, Sarah Jane, Benefiel oh. Seller. Okay. Good, we got the connection there. And one thing nice about Ancestry is that Ancestry also has a, if you're not belong to Ancestry, they have a shared link that you could use without mm-hmm. being a um, a member of Ancestry. Okay, now here's an example of a source that we're not going to carry over. This is a family history or pedigree from Genianet. So basically what it is, is somebody over on Genianet has created a tree and, and Rose Sellers is mentioned in that tree. That's not a source. That's just somebody else's tree. Mm-hmm. So oh. I'm going to cut I'm going to cut that out. So here we've got a death certificate. We've got a burial. Find the grave. Uh, the death of the sun. So now some of these things, you can decide that, you know, it, this is obviously important information in terms of the genealogy that Rose Seller's son died. Mm-hmm. That information is obviously needed on the profile of Rose Seller's son. Since this right. is after Rose's death, maybe we want this on the profile. Maybe we don't. I don't know. I'm going to leave it up to Rose to decide that. So I'm just going to leave it in here. Um, here's a social security record. Now, here's Rose registered for the World War I draft. And see, there's no date on it. Same with the Rose, the same, same as this one. There's no date on it. Now we know that the social security record will be post death, but this draft is in the wrong place. World War One. We need oh, to go back. Into yeah, it's the child. That was for the child, the son. Okay. World War One draft was for yeah. the son. Yeah, it was for Russell. 1920. There's 1920. 1912. So we know that World War One was 1914 to 18. So a World War One draft record has to be in that period. Okay, so now we've gone through all of that. Uh, there's an obituary. And okay, so now we've got all of that done. Whoops. We should preview it. So as you can see, all of this stuff that I just added is in the research notes. And that we can that can be moved into the biography proper later. But we've got it in here now. And so we can have some level of confidence that Rose existed and she lived and she had marriage and she died. She had children. Mm-hmm. So we have a lot of information about this person. So 
-hmm. We are going to Check. say that we need a bio improvement, adding sources and research notes. So we'll do uh -huh. full save. Hillary, I love that idea of putting them into the research notes. Yeah, yeah, me too. Excellent idea. That's a great tip. Because then you can leave the children's things in there if you've not, if you've got, right. particularly if the children haven't been created already, and you've got that to, you can sort of then add on a maintenance category that might say um, it needs more profiles created so that somebody else can come along in, in a connect thumb and maybe add the child from the information that you've put onto the parent. So, yeah. or the parent whatever it's um it depends what the information is and so i found I different sorry I, sorry marie no no go ahead go ahead jerry i just i found different sources and i've lost them and i'm it would be great to put them in the research notes and then you don't lose them oh, yes um, yes if you're yes wow. exactly that's yeah research amazing. notes are very very really helpful, very useful I didn't realize and it, that. it's also you know sometimes sometimes you want to say something in the biography but you, you don't have enough evidence to really say it to back it up you know you've got you've got a few clues so so you put that in the research notes you might write a little paragraph to say that you know you're researching this uh you think maybe you know she had a second marriage or a third marriage or whatever um and and you know here's here's the evidence that you have so far but you know, you're not 100% certain about it. So you put that in research notes. And then and then somebody can come along later and boom. You get, get the sources filled in. I, I've been, lately I've been finding a lot of pages where, you know, there's a basic profile, there's maybe one source and I'll go look and I'll find that there's a dozen sources like we just did just now. Yeah. So, and, and really it's a question of timing sometimes, you know, the records just weren't there when you mm -hmm. went to look originally. Yeah, but then mm. six months later, they they've been added. And so mm -hmm. now I happen to remember that the next person on the list is is Sarah Jane. Yes, Benefield. Yeah. Yep. So we're the gonna go check her. Blank as well. <laughs> okay, so this has um, only the one source, and it's a, it's a family search source, um, and we can probably do a little bit better than that. So I'm not going to rely on um, family search at all because it gave me a problem earlier. I'm just going to use ancestry. Uh, I'll, I'll check family search. It seems okay. so while well, you do that. Well, again, and we've got over the Isaac's family tree there. I like the way that you use the family tree to check all the other sources. I like that. Yeah, so do I. I, I. I used to just rely on, you know, what, what was over in the, in this column. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to, you know, just go through that one at a time. But then w once once uh, Rob added the, you know, uh, grab all citations, you know, <laughs> I mean, if you've, been, if you've been working on Ancestry long enough, you, you're sort of familiar with there are certain people in in your that that the, the, the results come up and you know that they've done all kinds of research on on these people right mm -hmm. um i've got there's, there's a guy called tom driscoll somewhere on ancestry that does all of you know quebec and acadia so he's got these amazing trees with all kinds of sources gathered so if i see him in the list i just grab grab what he's found and then you can mm -hmm. go search for more you know but it's it's handy to have them all collected together like that for you mm -hmm. Good. So there's Sarah Jane, and she's in a lot of profiles. Wow. Now, this top one happens to be no no public family members. I, I'm oh. not sure why they ever put those at the top of the list. But anyway, we'll go in, and we'll see that the first one is, is all private and locked up. This one oh, has 11. There's 8. There's 7. There's 8. There's 11. Oh, oh there's 12. Let's Ooh. go with 12. Okay. So I'm kind of lost now. Who are we're looking for Sarah Jane? Sarah Jane uh Benefield. 
And we're trying to, we would like to prove that she's the daughter of William Benefiel. Oh, thank you. Uh huh. Now, are you seeing the ancestry screen, or do I need to share that? I see Sarah Jane Davis Sellers. Yeah, in the ancestry, ancestry screen? Yes. Benefiel. Okay, yes. perfect. Yeah, yeah so now, it's beautiful. Okay, so it looked, and I say build all citations. So it's grabbing a bunch of census information, death certificates, marriages. Nice. Let's see, did you find anything on family search? That's what I'll be searching on. Yeah, I'm I'm finding things, but nothing that really helps yet. But okay. wait a minute. <laughs> Give me a sec. Um, hmm. William. Jane. Let's see what we've got. We've got an 1850 census. Good. And and her father, William Benefield, and her mother, Jane Benefield, are named. Mm -hmm. That's the 1850 census you found? Yep. Uh, that's right. right. Okay. 18... There's 1860. Wow. There's the marriage of Sarah to Robert. And are the parents named? Uh, no. 1870 census, 1880 census. Uh, Sarah, daughter of Rosetta and Edgar. Mm. Oh, that's Sarah's Where daughter, mm -hmm. Rosetta, sorry. Um, James Sellers' daughter, that should be Jane Sellers, right? Yeah. I don't just know. just recorded wrong. Let's see, here's oh, William. She's in fine degree. Okay, Sarah died and was buried. Her daughter died. Hmm. Another That's daughter it. died. And the military record, this is a pension from the Civil, Civil War. War. Ooh, her uh, husband? Or I can't see. Sarah, relation to head, widow, spouse of Robert Sellers. Yes. Mm. Ooh, mm -hmm. Nice. So we can say here, widow of Robert A. Sellers. Oh, good. That mean that means with Robert A. Sellers that you could find. Um, military pensions and everything else for him. Mm -hmm. Records. You know, why Mark? isn't this working? Um and and also a military and war sticker for his if he if, if he was in the war. Is that the computer filling in now, the sorcerer? Or no, is that is. Murray? Murray's doing it. What do those dots mean? Yeah. If you don't mind me asking. Those dots will yeah, um... so what, what, what I'm doing here is is um I'm I'm fixing the formatting on this so that it, it shows properly. Um oh. it was it was previously um like that. So the yeah, the yeah. the uh, colons the dots yeah. they uh they are like indentations. So oh if you, yes, like I read that. that. <laughs> so if you uh if you do one just one colon, then it's a little in. You do two colons, it goes in more, etc. Thank you. Yeah, I just read that in Canada Trails that I just joined. 
Oh, good. I'm so glad you've gotten connected. <laughs> good for you. What, I just um, don't know what to do next. He said the file's ready, but I, I don't know what to do next. So I wrote him and asked him. Yeah, let's try that. Okay, so see, now we've got, now it's formatted properly. Nope. Wow. Okay. So we've got a ton of sources in here now. Um, so we know that this person existed and we know that their parents were William and Jane. And we know that they're mentioned in, a, in they're twice mentioned for marriage um, in the U.S. Marriage Index, which isn't really a great source, but we've got the Indiana U.S. Marriages. Then we've got the 1870 census where they're mentioned as keeping house together. Uh, 1880, they're keeping house together. Well, daughter 18, is married they, yeah shouldn't they be um the it should be spouses in by 1880 right wife yeah 1880 wife yes yeah yes and they're, they're keeping house yeah <laughs> um a death um oh. a burial death of daughter death of daughter uh, hmm. Civil War pension, and then a repeat oh. of the 1850 census, this one being from Family Search. Now, we can say, by the way, that if you're going to, uh, if you find that you have sources available from you uh, for from Ancestry, and you've got an equivalent source from Family Search, um, it's preferable to use the Family Search link. There's no harm in putting in both. Ah, okay, good. What I will do sometimes is um, sometimes the image is available on Ancestry and not on Family Search, yes. and in that case, I will put both because I yeah. know that um, the they there's value in each. That's what I did. That's what I did. Yeah. Damn page. <laughs> Funny happen in here. Saving information. Hmm. Wow. Uh, I am going to. No, it's not going to let me. Okay, I'm not sure why it's doing this. I had trouble doing that too because it because it was saving a it took a while in saving. So I don't think it's your computer also. It could be apples like we like we both have. Yep. So at the risk of losing all this, I'm going to I'm going to go back a screen. <laughs> and I click the right. edit. Yes, I lost I lost it all now, but watch. I know I love that part. <laughs> <laughs> you can get it all back. Yep. You yep. have an uncommitted right draft there. of changes. Yep. Love it. Okay. So now, now I can look. Your draft has different data than what was displayed below. Okay. Oh, look. There it all is. <laughs> right? Yep. Okay. Love it. And then you just click. Get rid of that, and I'm going to say use the draft. Yes, and then you can save it again. Oh. Abby, no, come on back. No, no, come back. No. Abby. Research notes. Okay, now we'll save. Come on, baby, save. <laughs> right. Yay! So that was, that's we'll save. Well, how about that? Well, we done. have quite a few. <laughs> when did they put the minus and the plus sign in the, uh, so that's the bio? 
So that's a feature in a uh, web browser extension okay. that I like to use. And it collapses my research notes and sources so that I can just look at the, at the biography when oh. I first arrive on a page. Uh, when I arrive on space pages, the, um, they're all collapsed and I decide what I want to look at. Oh. So, so anyway, we have a lot of... Sorry, Murray, have you got it in reading mode right now? I can't see. In, no, in I your... I'm not using reading mode. Oh. No, okay. Reading mode's up here. Yes. No, I'm so so I'm using the web browser extension and I have a lot of, you know, I, I really use the, the browser extension extensively. I use all the uh, almost all the features. And um, so you, you'll notice, for example, the headers are have a different color, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's just something I set up in the style section of the browser extension. Style. In any case, we now have, um, you know, suffi sufficient information to verify that this is a, a link, right? Right. So let's move to the next person in the chain, and that is William, right? Right. Well, it's actually showing that William is the brother of Elizabeth. Oh, it's William. So maybe there's William. Two you're saying William can then yep. will will connect to his sister. Exactly. Yes. Okay. So let's let's look at William first. And I see. Oh. So we see that that William does in fact have a sister, Elizabeth. So let's check on William first. Oh, there's interesting. It has a category section. Huh. Okay, we'll have to fix that. Now it's got a find a grave reference. And this is a it's the it's the census. Yes. In both cases. Is it a census? Yeah, it's just strangely formatted. But in both cases, yeah. it's 1850. Um, it might just be duplication. Yeah. Um, so let's go. Sorry, go ahead, Betsy. I was just going to say, if it's eight, if he was born in 1797, and that's an 1850 census, that's probably not going to show us his sister, because he's, you know, well into sure. middle age by then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So once we get get uh, you know, well, prior to 1850, it gets a little a little murkier, um, especially because American censuses uh, before that point only show um, the the head of household, only okay. name of the household, and check the marks, check marks, and and then tick marks for everybody else. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. unless unless it was a widow. Um, women are generally not named in in the censuses. Mm. Okay. okay, so I just I just um, used the ancestry record that we were looking at before, and I checked on the father, and there he is. Yep. So we've got a lot of records here. So we're going to go ahead and grab them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We'll get all the citations we can, and then we'll see if we've got one that connects him to his sister. I suppose it's too much to hope for a will. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love Sarser. Trouble mm -hmm. with the wills too often is that the really important information is on the second page, and if you share them from ancestry, it only shares the first page. <laughs> Oh, get, get rid of that. That doesn't belong there. Hmm. <clears throat> All right. Gonna get rid of that. 
signals in a book. And let's see now. What do we have? So the first record we have is a marriage in 1819. So there's no sister. Um, 1830 census. Mm -hmm. no. 1840 census. No. No spouse. 1850 census. There's Jane. Okay. 1860. His son got married. His daughter. It still says James. <laughs> There's an error with the transcription. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, um, now we didn't get a. Did we get to find a grave up here? No. Hmm. Okay, so no. this find a grave. Um, interesting that we didn't get that. So let's go look over here. Here's the there we go. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Uh -huh. His father's Robert. Yeah. Now, Ancestry has an index into Find a Grave. And, and you can grab this record from here, from this Ancestry page. Okay. Huh? But I recommend going into it. Why is it not responding to me? Come on, there we go. I recommend actually going to the find a grave page. Yeah. Okay, so we'll grab this from here. Are you seeing that find a grave page, by the way? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So now we're going to put it in the right place. After the census. Eighteen seventy. Okay, so having done that, I'm going to remove this one. Um, so that was find a grave. This one is the 1850 census from Family Search. Oh boy, wait a second, what's going on here? Oh, it's repeated. Okay, so we'll just get rid of this one. And then down here, do this. To just learn this over time, like you're doing this fast and it's very clear and I'm going to go over and over it again to learn it. But does it come at some time? Like how long do you have to be in this to learn it? Like this is amazing. You know, it just takes it just takes time to, you know, you're, I mean, a few years, when was it? Um, two years ago? Two years ago, um, I was watching um, a, a group of people doing something similar to this and asking lots of questions. And the next day I got an email from Betsy saying, hey, would you come on the new user Q&A? Because you asked a lot of good questions. <laughs> now the thing is, yeah. the thing is, I was seeing people do things that I, I hadn't seen done yeah. before. 
Yep. And mm -hmm. I was seeing things on the screen that I hadn't seen before. And I, well, how do you do that? How do you get that yeah. feature? You know? Oh. So, um, yeah. So you just have to play with it. And, and you just have to keep, um, you know, being willing to learn. Yeah. And attending these sessions is a, you know, is a great, great way to get started. I must so we've got a marriage, got a census. So ahead, reminders. <laughs> and yeah, so we don't have anything about the sister. And we've got a big white space there. So let's get rid of that big white space. Yeah, I'm I'm looking at um family search right now, and yeah. it looks like um the sister Elizabeth um made her way with her husband and family to Utah. So I'm I'm seeing and she died in 1967. So I'm seeing if there's um uh, a death record, you know, that might name that would be the other thing is um with deaths in 1867 and 1870 that their death certificates would both name the same parents and then we could say check they are siblings. Yeah. Right. Now the the other thing we might do so there's there, so so one is looking at Elizabeth's profile and making see what her sources are. The mm -hmm. other thing might be to look at the parents' profile and see whether we can find any sources that tie the tie them to the kids. And that way we mm -hmm. we can get a sister out of it. Um, right. Oh. <laughs> compiled census and census substitutes index. <sighs> Federal census in 1820. So is when was the sister born? Um, eighteen oh one. So okay. she might be in the eighteen twenty census, right? Yeah. Well, no, I'm sure she would have. When was the marriage date? I don't because know offhand. She, yeah, she probably would have either she would have either been in her father's or her husband's household at the age of nineteen. Mm. Right. So let's see. On there. <laughs> let's see if we can find a source. Okay. Change. So now look at. Yes, Anne. Um. I was thinking uh, for all the new people and, and everybody else here is be sure to go to these, um, the Wiki Tree Symposium. It has a lot of excellent, even if you don't want to, if you have any questions, just look into it and you get a lot of information. And also on Wiki Tree Day, that, uh, that, that helped me a lot when we had it two years ago, when we had that great big celebration. It really helped me looking at all the different people and all the different time periods. It was great. I loved it. Thank you, Anne. Um, may I ask a question about that, though? Would, uh, would Is it okay if I ask a question first of all? Oh, I'm so trying hard. to remember it. Um, the symposium, I think I signed up, but I'm not sure. How do I know if I, do you get a letter back or some uh, email uh, back? You should, Jerry, I can, I can check and, and see if you're registered. Oh, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Okay. So this is the right person. There's a wow. hundred thousand trees. Uh, that one's got 12 records. Yep. 12 is good. Okay, so let's see what 12 records we've got. 20 sources. There's the 1820 census. And it looks like oh, I'm no. looking at her marriage record right now. She got married uh, in uh, 1820. So co co the, the census year and her marriage year coincided. Okay. Oh, it's just a count. Um, and he was alone. Oh, wait, no, he wasn't alone. There was a male under 10. There was a male teenager. There was a male older. Female. And then and two adults. So 
it's not that's not going to give us what we want Let's see what else there might be census substitutes and reconstructed records what is that okay. I never heard of that before. So, no, that's not going to be helpful. And what about this one? Indian, Indian territory. Ooh, get out of my way. It won't get out of my way. Okay, so that's not going to be helpful either. Okay, so then, sorry, oh. then the daughter's name is Elizabeth. Let's see what ancestry has about Elizabeth. Hamilton, Ohio. Hey, <laughs> Ohio. Ohio has good records, so she can. Ohio, she um. with Ohio, she can have a birth certificate from Ohio. Everything's open. Well, we may have we may have may have hit our wall here, right? Um, because I noticed that that this is sort of chronologically this is the turnaround point. We've gone back and back and back in time, and now yep. the connection path goes from um, Elizabeth to her daughter to her husband and and so on. Woman, yeah, I I. Bet this can be found. I mean, it might not be able to be found proven within our time today, but I I bet, especially with the link to to um the Mormon the Church of Latter Day Saints that yeah it can be proven. Oh look, she's got she's got a lot of records. <laughs> so let's see what we got. There's <laughs> okay. Ohio. Hmm. Hamilton, Ohio is in the southern part yeah, of but, Ohio. But she didn't die in Indiana. She died in Utah. Mm -hmm. Well maybe uh, they maybe they got it wrong. I see I see a lot of other things that are correct. <clears throat> yeah, that's not gonna be helpful. Um because we've got a birth source, that's the 1850 census. That's not helpful. No. Um, we've got a marriage source to David Norton. Now, these are indexes, so they're not likely to name the parents. And even if they did, they wouldn't be reliable. Um, oh, remember, oh, remember oh, Mormons. I remember, oh, oh, hmm. Oh, she's too old. Well, and also going by her, is that right with her maiden name? At that point, she would have been a Norton, right? Oh, I see. I see. That might have been for a child, a child's marriage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. Hmm. No, that's her and her husband. Utah, Utah, Utah. Um, look, at the Utah look at the Utah U.S. death and military death. It has a picture. Okay, just a moment. Um, of you. Birthplace. I wish I could get rid of this thing. How do you do that? There we go. Thank you. Uh, nope. Spouse and children. No parents. Mm -hmm. And sorry, what did you want me to look at? Somebody suggested I look at a particular record. 
Um, didn't it show at the Utah U uh, U.S. Death and Military certificate? Did it have a a record that you could look at? Go into the uh, right, right there. Oh, this one. Mm -hmm. Oh, never mind. No, it might have might have parents listed on it, mm -hmm. just not not mentioned in the. So let's look at the image. So. Um, let's see. Name of father. David. First place of father. David so it David. names. But wait. Oh, oh it's a child. This is for a child. Yes. The, the, the parents. Child, of, so it's not... The parents of William and Elizabeth would have been James and Elizabeth. Hmm. Yeah. Is it, this is a child of David and yeah. Elizabeth. Yeah. Elizabeth, she's the mother rather than her mm. parents mentioned. Right. Mm. Look for her death record. I got so we much to learn. Burial. That probably is for the find. Oh, yeah, find a grave. Yeah, it doesn't mention parents. Spouse. Yeah. So, so you know, we so we we've gone through a lot of. Um, a lot of different aspects of what you need to do in this in this process. Yes, mm. we, haven't, we haven't been entirely successful, but we've certainly seen, you know, what you need to do and how 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 to approach it. Yes. Yeah, we made some head we made some headway, and um, keep in mind that if you do this week after week, you're going to uh, you know be able to skip over um, a bunch of of connections for from you because you will have looked at them in previous weeks, and you know so maybe hop in at your second great grandparent or something like that. And and, and also, family search keeps on adding and adding a lot of re records. Oh, good to know. Thank you. A big thank you to Doris for letting yes. us. Well, thanks work. for filling it in. <laughs> and to, to Murray for being our screen navigator. Thank you. Yes. And well, Hillary for all her input too. Yes. <laughs> wonderful. Yeah. I'm getting. Back, I'm getting further with mine because mine are. My connection is through a lot of um, people that were LDS, so stay saints. So I've got, there's lots of records on there, but I've uh, still got to do a certain amount. So, well, and, uh -huh. and, and and what I want to do is I want to do the Rockefellers because they were huge in Cleveland. They had rock. It, it was unbelievable. I went to his um, special. Gray site at, at Lakewood Cemetery in Cleveland. It's huge. It, it, it's a mausoleum. It's beautiful. It's because because they were like number one in, in, in Cleveland. They were on military and uh, millionaires row. It was unbelievable. So I must see if I'm closer than 21. <laughs> it's been really interesting. Thank you so much, you guys. You're welcome. Well, I'm going to go ahead and um, turn off the recording and say thank you to everyone, um, to all of you and everyone who's watching afterwards. And we'll see you next month.